Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. So today we are going to paint some Christmas bubbles and I am going to use wet and wet technique. So that is why I am using masking tape to cover all the corner of my sheet and then I am going to divide my sheet into two different sections. try to uh, keep it equal and uh, once done we can start with our uh, uh, first painting so as we are using wet and wet technique so we need to wet wet an hour sheet thoroughly so go back and forth multiple time with the clean water and with the help of uh, different shades of color you can choose whatever color you like so i am keeping the left painting little towards pink or little towards purple uh, shade so i will keep uh, those kind of colors uh, uh, for the left one so i'm putting the, all these color randomly because anyways i'm going to mix all this uh, color together later so I'm using uh, blue and purple mix, purple and violet mix and uh, I have also mixed uh, yellow and blue to make little dark shade. some color so I'm using a uh, violet color first and then I am going to sprinkle some blue color and some rose metal lake color also sprinkle some clean water it will give you very nice effect and uh, at the end uh, sprinkle some white color into it so I'm using very creamy texture of white and all the colors that I have sprinkled so far. And let's sprinkle some salt. I'm using normal table salt and I'm sprinkling all over my sheet uh, to get a very nice effect. It will look like uh, snowy or crystally uh, effect in it. And uh, let it be for some time and let's start with the right side so for the right side also I'm using wet on wet technique and so that's why I have uh, wet in my sheet thoroughly and I'm using cobalt blue color uh, first uh, for the first layer and I'm going to keep uh, this side a little towards blue shade so I'm going to use all shades of blue uh, for the left painting so now I'm going to sprinkle all the shades of blue that I have so first I'm sprinkling ultramarine blue then uh, cerulean blue and cobalt blue so all the blue that I have I'm going to sprinkle in this particular area you can also sprinkle little uh, white also if you want but uh, I just want to keep it like this only so I'm not going to sprinkle that and at the end just a little hint of uh, pink shade uh, that is why I'm sprinkling a rose metal lake color and now use some table salt and sprinkle some table salt all over the sheet this time I'm using less table salt as compared to the left one and let it rest for some time and once uh, it gets completely dried you can remove the table salt uh, with the soft head and uh, let's create uh, some circle so I'm using bottle cap and other caps to create uh, different different size of uh, bubbles in this uh, uh, in both the paintings that we have And uh, for the left one, I'm using white color uh, to fill all the bubbles that we have. So as uh, 
uh, as we are using watercolor uh, white color so you need to uh, make sure the white color is visible properly so you might need to do two three layering of white color into it so let's do it second layer of white as the first layer is not that visible i don't want to use acrylic color because acrylic color is too vibrant so i don't want that i want little effect of uh, background as well so that's the reason i'm using watercolor only uh, to paint these bubbles and at the end with the help of black color just add a wires and other detailing and let it be for some time let it rest for some time because white color is still wet so i want it to dry completely and then with the help of white gel pen add some pattern or design into all the bubbles that we have and around the wires so i'm using random patterns you can use whatever pattern you like gel pen won't work if your sheet is uh, not uh, dry so make sure your sheet is dried completely and then start with uh, this particular step and i'm done with all the four bubbles that uh, we have let's add little texture around the wire as well now let's move to the right one so as you can see i have already painted some snowflakes for the right one but i have not shown this to you because i'm not happy with this particular step so i changed my mind and i am thinking to add some bubbles into this as well previously i was thinking to add some snowflake but uh, that was not uh, working well for me so just add a, a dark shade of blue and purple uh, for the right hand side painting or for the right hand side bubbles hint of white around the bubbles and bubble wires with the help of black color and let it dry completely like we did in the first one and then with the help of white gel pen we are going to add some patterns into this as well
both painting is quite simple but i think it's very good idea to create some christmas card with the help of all these bubbles and background effect little detailing around the wires and at the end we are going to sprinkle some white color do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and have a fantastic christmas ahead to you and your family see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching